Today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on which grading company I think is best for your Pokemon cards. Time to blow some minds. We're going to be comparing PSA versus BGS versus CGC, which I think are the most natural options. I'll be using three criteria for my analysis. One will be market popularity and market share. The next will be overall value. And then lastly, we're gonna go with visual appeal, which of course will be very top heavy on my own opinion, but I think my opinion will parallel a lot of people's opinions, I would have to imagine. Also guys, I just wanted to mention on the side whether or not it's relevant I'm not being paid a dollar by any of these companies, nor would I ever because I use some of these products myself in some of my own things. I just wanted to say that flat out that I'm not getting paid a dime by anybody and that's the God's honest truth uh, to say any of this stuff. This is literally my own opinion. So first I just wanna talk about market popularity and just market share in general. Popularity contest, excuse me, what's more important than popularity? I think this easily belongs to PSA. And just because they've been in it for so long, they've always been kind of the cornerstone and or just the pillar really when it comes to grading. And then of course, BGS is right there. Uh, but I've always seen BGS as more of a sports grader and authenticator. Not that they're better than PSA, but I think they kind of they kind of handle a more maybe higher end type of product or a just, I, I just never kind of position them in the same place together, but they're definitely in the Pokemon game, which we're going to talk about. And last but not least, there's CGC, of course, and I think they've gained all of their popularity within the last couple years. And they've made a couple <laughs> changes that we're recently seeing in, you know, Maybe we can show something up on the screen here, David, where it's comparing the old CGC to the new CGC. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more later, but as fast as they're gaining popularity, they are definitely hitting some uh, some rough waters right now. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. So all in all, guys, I'm gonna give this category specifically to PSA. I'm better than you. With a definite strong nod. Uh, to BGS and CGC in their own right, because like I said, BGS is definitely entering the Pokemon game for sure uh, in a much heavier way that I've been seeing the last couple years compared to where they were, you know, four or five years ago. And then of course, CGC scooped up all that market share in the last couple years, but I don't think that they have the mental connotation or just the market cornered like PSA does. PSA has the the market still smashed and cornered as far as I'm concerned. I bet it would be somewhere in the in the realm of like 60% of Pokemon cards minimum that are graded by PSA normally. Obviously there's other grading services, but I just wanted to take these big three. But first round goes to PSA. Second up on the list is gonna be overall value. Now we're gonna talk about what the highest end grades will bring you value wise, but within the value portion, I think we have to talk about cost to grade per card. There was a time with PSA where you could get the cards graded for six to $7 on bulk. You'd have to submit over a hundred cards and it was wildly, wildly reasonable. You know, two years ago, something happened. Two to three years ago, they started they started popping their prices up. There was a time where there was no bulk submission capability at all for a while because they got absolutely bombarded when, you know, everything was happening with you know what, two or three years ago, people were just, there. I mean, they were getting hundreds of thousands of cards per day. They had to shut down operations. A lot of people may not even know that, but that happened a few years ago. So they opened back up at about 15 to $20. So currently we're at 15, 20, somewhere in there. Uh, if no membership, they do offer a membership, you're at 30 bucks for their base grading level of service. So next is gonna be BGS. They're, what I'm seeing, they're at about 20 to $30, depending on if you want subgrades or not. That's another thing that we're gonna be talking about. So BGS offers subgrades, where PSA does not. CGC comes in. One cool thing about CGC, when they first entered the space, they were literally smashing on the competition because they were so much more affordable when it came to grading. Now, did they hold the same value and pedigree from a CGC 9.5, let's say, to a PSA 10, because they were kind of comparing those two? Definitely not. CGC 10s back in the day were more rare than seeing me without a hat on, okay? Since then, and again, we're gonna talk about this, with the change of label, they are dropping the subgrades, which I think is a huge mistake, but I don't work for CGC. When it comes to value, we're gonna look at some of these right now, and we're gonna take a PSA 10 compared to a BGS 10, not black label, we'll talk about that, and then a CGC 10. 
So let's take a look real quick. What we're gonna do guys is take the Umbreon from Evolving Skies across all three grading levels. I just wanted to use a very relevant and contemporary card that is on top of mind for everyone. That way it's just easier to track. Let's just look at a Umbreon in a PSA 10. Last solds, it looks like $1,000 is the price, right? 1,000, 1,025, how the mighty have fallen also. These have gone down a lot. So a thousand bucks, right? Let's move over to BGS. So that's a black label. We're not going to talk about that real quick, but black, but uh, BGS 9.5 is $8.99. Let's find a BGS 10. BGS 10, it looks like $17.50, maybe struck a deal for $1,500. That seems fair. BGS 10 struck a deal maybe for, let's say in the teen hundreds. Okay, $1,300 on. So I'm going to say anywhere between $1,300 and $1,600 is very, very fair. Okay, on that. Lastly, let's go for a CGC 10. So maybe struck a deal at 1200, 1300. Okay, 1325. Struck a deal at 1100, but that's a 9.5, 1200. So for CGC value wise, we're going to be talking about maybe 1100 to 1300. Seems fair. So this is an important, important factor, guys. If we're just being apples to apples, I would say the value would have to go to BGS in terms of, you know, all the price per card to grade is nominal which is it's very similar it's you know uh we'll say between 10 20 and 30 dollars there's you know that kind of shakes out very evenly over a large scale after grading and they all get perfect tens or they get perfect grades so i'm gonna say bgs for a bgs 10 probably has a value but I'm going to also say it's much harder to get a BGS 10 than it is a PSA 10. So there is something to note there. And then for a CGC 10, I've seen way more lately than there were before. But again, CGC 10, that might mean something different, especially a 9.5. And we're going to talk about that uh, in a second. So I just wanted to mention that. Let's just touch on real quick. I want to touch on BGS Black Label. So I'm going to give this round to BGS for the fact that they have a Black Label. <laughs> So obviously PSA 10 is the highest level that you can get a PSA card graded in. CGC is the highest in a 10, but BGS almost has its own echelon because you have a 10 and then you have a black label 10. So the difference between a regular 10 and a black label 10 guys, I know this is obviously, we get it. Okay. But with a black label 10, that means every subgrade received a 10, centering edges, corners, and surface, every single subgrade re received a 10. A BGS 10 will have some 9.5s and then some 10s, okay? So that's the difference. But to have a BGS 10, there's an, a level of pedigree there that the other grading companies do not have. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention about, a, you know, about CGC, you guys have probably seen the new labels, but you can see the difference. And we're gonna look at these in person right now for our last uh, criteria. I don't know. It may have gone from bad to worse, but I just don't know. They, one thing I will say is CGC was unique before in the sense that they would offer subgrades. Obviously, this is a 10 with no subgrades, but if this was my, it's a pristine 10, my guess is it would be a, a 10s across the board on the subgrades if there was, or if there was them. I think dropping the subgrades again was a huge mistake, but okay, I digress. So on that competition, guys, just for the fact that BGS offers that extra layer of pedigree when it comes to your card, that's something that the other slab companies cannot compete with as of yet. So I'm gonna give that extra level of pedigree, I'm gonna give the value portion because if you can somehow get a BGS Black Label 10 in an Umbreon, they're selling for five or $6,000. That is unmatched, that's five or six X a PSA 10, which is absolutely wild. Another thing I wanted to, to just throw in there as a caveat, if we're also talking about just holistic value over all grades, I might give that to PSA because I think a PSA 8 or 9 is going to hold more value long-term than let's say a CGC 8 or 9, or maybe a BGS 8 or 9. There might It might even out, but overall holistically, PSA might own the value category, but up top value, it's gotta be BGS. All right, guys, last but not least is gonna be my absolute personal opinion. So take that in mind, just like I said at the beginning of the video. I also wanted to say, guys, freaking awesome. I love you guys. Hit all the damn buttons. You know what to do. We're on our way to 100K. It's, it's wild. All right, let's talk about the rest of these cards. So lastly, guys, we're gonna talk about my own personal opinion. What I feel is, uh, is just, you know, looks wise, what's the best. I mean, check these cards out, you know? They're all different in their own way. So let's, okay, let's take them, let's take them one by one and let's just be fair about it. So PSA, if we're just being fair, just looks wise, a little bit more plain, but I'm just going to say this as my own personal opinion. There's something that I enjoy 
about the label, okay? Maybe it's the simplicity. Uh, I feel like they could have brought in a little bit of the back of the label to the front of the label when it comes to style, but this is just their thing. For whatever reason, it's in my mind, it's ingrained in my being. This is the standard when it comes to, when I'm looking at a graded card on eBay, that's the first thing I see is that red border. So that's obviously a market thing, that's a brand recognition thing, and that's what they want. And that's why they never changed, which is something that I actually do appreciate on some level, okay? And then moving on, we have the BGS. The BGS slab is completely different from PSA. So like, look at P PSA and CGC are similar in, in girth. I would say, that sounds so wrong. They're similar in size, but the BGS is much different. This is why I always, when I held a BGS card, there's just something a little bit more, right? It just feels a little bit more luxurious. There's more, there's more about it, you know? It just feels like different, I guess, is, is, is the, is this, but you know, we're not, I don't hold every one of my cards, so I don't get that feeling. When I just see it from the front, just another card. Now, let's talk about their labels. I think their labels, depending on how you feel, I think they're a little bit OP, right? They're, they're just a little bit better. And then especially, I don't own any black labels, anything of BGS, but when you see that black label, man, you know that it's gonna be a good day, okay? If you get a return, something good has happened if you're getting a black label. But overall, BGS, I like it. And I like that it's almost like a metallic type of label. And then of course the subgrades. I'm personally not a subgrade person, but that's just me. That doesn't mean that other people don't like subgrades. There's people that are much more meticulous, much more uh, you know finicky about their grades, and they want to know that pedigree, that per that you know per point pedigree is going to be labeled on this label. So that's just a beautiful, beautiful slab in general and non-specifically, non just aesthetically. Lastly, we have the CGC. Personally, guys, and I'm not talking trash on CGC, I never latched on... <laughs> I never latched on to this case, you know? When you feel it, it feels very similar. It's sleek er kind of like, you know, like a PSA would be. It's more transparent than PSA because PSA obviously has the the non-translucent film. So that's kind of nice, I would say, is you can, it showcases the card a little bit more, but just, you know, the look of it, ugh, you know? And then also looking at the new style, I've seen the new labels. Again, I keep touching on the, the subgrade. There's just something about having those subgrades, man. This is gonna mean more to me long-term by having those subgrades. And really, the new style that's, and I hope, and David, I hope you can show one of these on, on you know, just show the same, the same label on the, on, on the screen, just so people can get a visual. The style itself is, it falls in line with a lot of other companies now. It looks much more similar to other companies. I would say, even though I'm not crazy about this label, it was at least unique. Now, you, you know, when you looked at this label, you knew it was CGC. Now, when you see a CGC label, it looks like a lot of other labels that I've seen. And I'm just saying that just flat out, take it for what it's worth. So on this last critique, guys, I'm gonna give the nod to both, okay? I'm gonna give PSA the nod for my own personal, selfish, emotional, like I love PSA and I love the way they look. And then I'm gonna give the, the aesthetic nod in general, if I'm just looking at them, eye candy wise to BGS. What? Did we just become best friends? I think it looks like a higher end type of graded card. Uh, it just looks like, you know, there's something more about it. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just gonna give the nod both to PSA and BGS. So yeah guys, all in all, my opinion, and I'll never change, and I've been very vocal about this in the past, I think PSA still has the market cornered in general. When you're talking about up top, I'm going BGS for pure value. If you can somehow spike a black label, you're walking on water. So take it for what it's worth. They're right there. I'm a PSA kid overall. That's just where it's at. That's that's my opinion. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit all the buttons, baby. I care about you all. Can't do it without you. I'm gonna see you on the next live or the next episode. Peace out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?